Brick Haven. I went from poor to rich to billionaire. This was the craziest day of my life, so make sure you watch the full video to see everything that happened to me. Today's been such a long and hard day, and I have no home to go back to. Oh, crap, and I just got set on fire by my own food. Oh, no, my food got burnt. Uh, what am I gonna eat now? I'm starving. I went through the garbage all day today to try and find that food to cook, and then my fire burnt it right up. <sighs> okay, being poor is super hard, and I keep getting set on fire. Well, it looks like I have no other choice but to go find somewhere else to eat. Good thing my box dump is right outside of a restaurant, so let's see if I can get some food in here. Um, excuse me. I'm very, very, very hungry, okay? Can you please give me something to eat? I'm not able to pay for it because I'm poor, but I'll, like, mop the floors or something. Hold up, dude. I'm busy. What? What is he doing? He's on his phone taking pictures. That's not busy at all. Hello, you got a job to do. You know that, right? You need to be serving me food. Okay, fine. You need to chill out. Um, I'm chill. Jeez, my bad. I was just saying, like, I'm so hungry and you're not feeding me anything. Listen, you fed the homeless before, right? Yeah, I just need to do that again for me right now. Stop being so rude. You're lucky I'm even talking to you right now. I'm not being rude. You were ignoring me to be on your phone. That's what's rude. But fine, whatever. I won't say anything else because I am hungry and I do need help. Um, so literally any meal that you can spare, I will take it. I'm starving. So even if it's just some bread, that would be perfect. Exactly. So you thought you were coming in here and getting free food? I mean, yeah, it's called charity. Hello, you can't help out a needy person? Like, that's so messed up. Listen, I even said I'll mop the floors or something even though I don't have any money. I'm do, I'll do some work just so I can have some food, okay? That's how starving I am. Thing is, I really don't like you. What, why not? Uh, you don't like needy people? Listen, sir, I just need a little bit of help, okay? I'm absolutely starving. Listen. I see like what is this over here? Um, is that a plate of hot dogs? Just let me get one bite of those hot dogs over there. Just one. Can you mop my floors? Then I'll make sure you have a full meal. What? Easy. That's so easy. Yes, I'll mop the floors. Give me the mop right now. Oh my goodness. All I gotta do is mop the floors and I'm good? Like, that's so perfect. I could come here and mop every day for a free meal. Oh yeah, anything, anything food. You better make sure you do a good job. Of course I'm gonna do a good job. Why wouldn't I? I mean, you know, I'm a hard worker. It's just that I'm like in between jobs right now. So, you know, I'm just struggling a little bit, but this really helps more than you could ever imagine, sir. Just trust me. These are going to be the cleanest floors you've ever seen. Like, ever. Okay, that took me quite a while, but I'm all done now, and the floors look great in this place. So, can I have my free meal now, sir? Because, you know, I did the mopping of the floors, like you said, so I should be able to get some food, right, please? I'm so hungry. And all that work made me even hungrier. My stomach is going crazy. Hmm. Should I let you eat? What? I thought we had a deal. Why wouldn't you let me eat? You said if I mopped the floors, then I could have some food. I don't understand what you're trying to do here, but it doesn't seem too nice. Well, the thing is. Oh, no. What could be happening? Please don't tell me you want me to do more work for food. I mean, I'm already hungry enough. I can barely move. It's National Meanie Day. What? National Meanie Day? I've never heard of that at all. What is this supposed to be a day we're going to be mean to everybody? That doesn't make any sense. You shouldn't celebrate that. Basically, like, today I'm mean to the poor. What? Only to poor people? That's so jacked up. You would only be mean to me just because I'm poor, but anybody else in here could come and get free food, but not me? What kind of sense does that make? Meany day sucks. So I kind of want to bully you. Fine, show me your house. What, you don't believe that I'm actually homeless? Dude, I live right outside of your restaurant. It's right here, box, and this fire, and this trash bag. Here is where I sleep. This is my bed. That's where I try to cook some, like, free dumpster I get any, and then this is where I keep all my clothes. What the? Why are you on the ground? Did you just pass out? Yo, are you okay? Oh my gosh, I think my disgusting way of life just made him die. Hello, get up. I need you to get up, okay? Your house is horrible. Well, duh, it's not a house. It's a corner on the street. I'm homeless. Of course it's horrible. What did you expect? I don't think you had to go so far as to pass out, though. That's kind of me, don't you think? Bro, what? Be nice, okay? Look. I proved to you that I'm actually homeless. Can I please?
please get some food, man. And don't get too close to that fire because you will get burned. Disgusting girl. It's not my fault. I was fired from my last job, okay? Just help me out here. Please, I, the last thing I want to do is go in there and steal from your restaurant. Poor Brokey, ha huh? So poor. Fine, while you stay here, laid up on the floor, I'm gonna go get my own food out of your restaurant because I mopped your floor so I should be able to get something. Okay, let's turn up this grill uh, super, super high up so that way I can, you know, get some. Okay, so what do you put on there? How do you work this stuff? Wait, oh, there we go. Okay, I got something cooking nice and hot on this fire. So I'm just gonna sit down for a second and wait while that, you know, gets to cooking. Uh, he should have just helped me out. Then I wouldn't have to steal my own food. Oh, crap. He's back? What are you doing? What did you do? Nothing. Everything's fine. I'm just trying to make some hot dogs real quick. And I put the fire all the way up so it'll cook faster. Uh, sir, you might want to back away from the fire before something happens. Listen, there's no need for anybody to get hurt. Just step away from my food, please. Hello? Are you gonna, are you gonna get away from the fire? I'm really trying to help you out. Out. That is dangerously close. You messed up my building. No, I did it. Your building's fine. All you gotta do is go back here and ah! Oh my gosh! Help! It's all messed up. Oh my goodness! I'm burning. It's not okay. You gotta help me, sir. Ah! Help! I'm on fire. This isn't okay. Oh my goodness! The alarm is going off. Where are the firefighters? I need to jump in the toilet and un. I'm gonna jump in this toilet and cool my body down. Oh. Go. That's better. Whew. All right, just a little bit of toilet water. Fix that right up for me. See? I told you everything's fine. Okay, so let me just go ahead and put this fire out for you because I didn't mean to, you know, do that. Put this out. Okay, and now we're all good. See? All better. Now, can you please hand me those hot dogs over there? Um, those are for me. Bro! I'm gonna call the police and cry. No, don't cry. It was an accident. I swear. Look, the restaurant's fine. It's still clean. Oh, no. He's actually crying. Ugh, I feel kind of bad. Listen, you could come to my house and hang out with me for a little bit if you're, you know, that upset. Like, everything's fine. I fixed your fire, um, even heated up your toilet for you. Bro, you're horrible. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna squeeze back here and grab my hot dogs. Um, listen, I did everything you said, and I'm gonna take these because I'm starving. Okay, if I don't eat right now, I will die. You're the worst. Yeah, but I'm just gonna go sit down and eat. I can't believe it took all that just for me to get some food, man. I'm so hungry. Oh, this is amazing. I can't remember the last time I had a hot dog. This tastes absolutely perfect. Ooh, after all that hard work I really deserve this and it's kind of the perfect way to end my day you know a nice hot meal that I got for free hey you dirty girl get out ah what you're gonna ruin my hot dog ew stop spraying me come on man you know I can't afford showers how dare you hey back up you're getting a little bit too close to me okay never come back you're banned you can't ban me that is a public place okay i can go there anytime i want to eat sorry not sorry you can leave in my house though okay i live here it's my building that building is for everybody it's not just yours don't be rude and stingy besides i'll be back there tomorrow as a matter of fact i'm gonna go finish my hot dogs you don't belong here boy i'm not a boy i'm a girl let me finish my hot dogs relax hey oh my god Okay, okay, I'm leaving. I won't come back. Oh my goodness. That guy is crazy. I can't believe he just tried to shoot me out of that restaurant. Okay, well, since he wanted to be so rude and ban me from his restaurant because I'm poor, it's time for me to get rich. Forget this dump of a house. I'm gonna be the richest person here. Then he'll have to let me get some food for free. First things first, I need to find a house to live in, okay? And it can't be any old house. It has to be the house. The most perfect house there ever been. So let's go find it. I just found the most perfect place to live in right here. This house is absolutely perfect. There's so much stuff here to do and it's way better than that box I used to live in. But a big perfect house is not it, okay? I need to also change my look. This does not match the house, so it's time to get beautiful. Okay, this look perfectly matches my house, actually. Now I look super rich, so it's time to go back there and try to get more free food out of that 
that mean business owner. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go back to the restaurant, but I can't just show up looking like this. I also have to get a fantastic car. Something that'll really blow his mind. Oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about. This matches my house, my car, and my brand new look. Okay, there's a no way he can say that I'm too poor to get any free food out of him. Now, he's gonna give me all his food for free. Let's go find that mean little business owner. Oh yeah, he's gonna be so jealous of my brand new life, and he should feel absolutely terrible for how he treated me before. Ew, guys, look at where I used to stay at. That is so embarrassing. Look, that's not me anymore, so I don't have to worry about that. All right, let's go back to this restaurant. It's time to eat. Oh, excuse me, hello, sir. I'm, uh, you know, starving. I'm trying to see what kind of food you have here that is for my taste. Hello, babe. Oh, wow, it's a change in attitude already. Um, hello, sir, but don't call me babe, okay? That's pretty weird and I don't know you. How about you just tell me what I can have here to eat? Uh, yeah, that'll be perfect. So, listen, I'm in the mood for a huge meal. I'm super, super, super hungry. And, you know, I'm also famous, so if you give me good food, and I'll bring more people to come to your restaurant. I'm here to serve you, baby. I will give you anything you ask for. I'll do anything for you. Ooh, woo. Whoa, this guy's being crazy. Okay, you said you'll do anything. Well, I'm going to go sit down at my table, and you just keep bringing food to me over and over and over since you'll do anything that shouldn't be a problem right and i don't intend on paying for any of this stuff unless i really really like it i will do that wait what you need to pay for it oh buddy see here's what you don't understand okay i am a very very famous person and people listen to my opinion so if i give your restaurant a good review billions of customers will come through here and you'll be making a lot more money bro do you understand that i do not care well look i'm the only person in here trying to buy any food from your disgusting restaurant so give it to me for free and maybe you'll have more customers if you refuse then have fun having no money. How do you know my food is disgusting? Did you even try it? I mean, look over there. You literally have hot dogs just sitting out on the counter. That's disgusting and unsanitary. Besides, I don't eat hot dogs. That's absolutely gross. So yeah, I know your food is disgusting, but you could probably do better. So I hope rise me. Well, how about this? I'll give you a free sample and then you can pay. Fine. That's fine by me. I'll be at my table waiting. This guy really thinks I'm just gonna give him money after he treated me that way? Absolutely not. I'm gonna get so much food out of this guy that his restaurant has to get shut down. Oh, he's here? What? Are you serious? A banana? I am not eating that. Give me something else. Some real food to try. This should do you properly. This is all you're getting. Um, there's no way that I can review you for that, okay? You didn't even make that banana. You just bought it. Listen, dude, you don't understand how important I am. So maybe I should just show you. Do you see this car out here? Do you know who this car belongs to? Me. It belongs to me because I'm rich. And if you want to drive a car like this, you better give me some real food. Oh, so you're so rich? Show me your house. Ah, uh, fine. If you must see it, we'll go to my house. And then after that, you better feed me, okay? I'm so hungry. And if not, I will make sure you go out of business. All right, I'm going to take him to my house because I have a fantastic one. And once he sees this, he's going to be shocked. All right, get out, bozo. We're here at my house. Uh, follow me right this way right up these stairs as you can see by just being here for only a little while that this house is awesome okay but maybe you don't see what's really awesome about it of course it's big but follow me up here if you go down this house slide it will land you in my luxurious 24 foot pool do you think my house is cool now this house is insane where are you going hey I didn't say you could oh ow so can you see now that my house is awesome you just took a water slide from my house straight into the pool now only people who have real money and real good jobs can afford something like this so trust me when i say that i'm famous and i can help out your business i've helped out many businesses before yours so just trust me i love this house so much it's so good i'm not gonna lie so since you're so rich what you can do is pay for your food no i'm not paying for the food oh you tried to offer me was a banana i can go get that from a tree outside if i wanted to well watch this since you're being so annoying i have an idea for you bro what do you think 
here doing? Hello? Where did he go? Watch the pool. What do you mean, watch the pool? I don't get it. What is his point here? This dude is crazy. There's nothing at my... Dude! What? Is... Wait. I just saw him go in here, and he's not here. What is going on here? Hello? What the? What in the world was that? How did I end up here? What did he do to my pool? Oh, no. There's a no way that just actually happened. Did he ruin my brand new house? You know what? Fine. I changed my house once. I can definitely change it again. That is a no problem. Since he thinks he's so cool, I'm gonna become a billionaire. Let's see if he can refuse giving free food to that. But since he tricked out my old house and is broken, I'll have to get an even bigger one. One that's gonna make him cry. Oh yeah, this place seems like the perfect place to claim as mine and make him think that I'm even richer than I actually am. Okay, so I just got this new mansion and now it's time to change my look once again, because this is it's just not rich enough. It's time to become gorgeous. Okay, now my entire outfit is made of gold. There's a no way he can't think that I'm a billionaire because only billionaires can afford a full gold outfit. But not only will I have a gold outfit, I will also have a gold car. Okay, now I have to get the free food, but I'm gonna approach him so nicely that he cannot refuse because I'm sick and tired of him being mean to me for nothing. He's acting like he doesn't own an entire business. It can't help out just one needy person. But you know what? That's okay. I'm gonna teach him a good lesson for that. So let's hurry up and get to this restaurant so I can ruin this guy's life. Okay, I am finally here in my brand new car, my brand new look. Let's go miss guy one more time. Hello, sir. Um, I have a very important business. I'd like to sit down and have a conversation quick. It's about something really important I think you should know. Hello, lady. Sure, but if you're not buying food, I'm not talking. Oh, how silly are you? Of course I'm gonna be buying food. I'm not poor or anything, but I would really like to have an important conversation. Well, can we just have a seat? Okay, let's do it. Good, I think this seat over here should be fine. So, let me talk to you about something. I own many, many businesses, and that's why I can afford the lifestyle that I have. And if you don't believe me, I could show you my lifestyle. I'm so lonely and I want to make sure other people live just like me. What do you think about that? I'm here to help you become just like me, a billionaire. That's cool and all, but what does that have to deal with me? Well, you own a business and you want to be rich, don't you? If you do, you want to be successful and rich, all you gotta do is follow my lead. Obviously I do. Good, because today is a national, um, nicey day and you're supposed to be nice to everybody you come across, so I'm gonna be nice to you and make you a billionaire just like me. But this restaurant is just so boring. Like, I think we should continue this meeting back at my house so I can actually have some clean air to think. Okay, what do I have to do? Just follow me. That's all you gotta do. Come with me right outside and don't worry about a ride. I'll drive my car to where we need to go. Hello? Come on. Don't leave a billionaire waiting all day. Don't you know that's rude? Alright, get in the car. Oh, nice car you have here. Uh, yeah, I'm a billionaire of course I'm gonna have a nice car, silly. Get in. Okay, so let's get there really fast. We do not have time to waste. I really do hope you love my house. I just got it not too long ago and I think it's pretty cool. It's a great place to have business meetings. So, you know, we'll get a lot of work done here. And before you know it, you'll be rich in no time, okay? Just trust me. I know exactly what I'm talking about. So come straight through here in my garage and boom. We're here. Okay, let me close that door so no brokies get in. Now, first things first, I need you to watch my house. And if you do, I'll pay you for it. But I left something, uh, you know, kind of far away. So I'm gonna go pick it up and you stay here. Is that okay with you? Oh, well, I guess, but my business. Hey, don't worry about your business, okay? I'll hire security to stay in guard while you're gone. No worries. I just need to go pick up something at my mailbox and it's pretty far away. What if I have customers? Trust me, they won't be going anywhere. <sighs> That's nothing you have to worry about, okay? 
I'm just gonna go be right back. You stay here. All right, fine. Go upstairs, explore, make yourself at home. I'll be right back, dear. And then we're gonna get to that business meeting and make you super rich, all right? Okay, bye. Uh, have fun. Okay, so I did just tell him to stay at my house, and I'm not worried because he doesn't know who I am. But he should be worried because I'm going to destroy this business of his. Since he wanted to be so rude to me all day and not give me food no matter what, if I was poor or rich or a billionaire, I'm going to get rid of this place once and for all. And he is going to cry his little eyes out. So all I have to do is just turn up the heat all the way and turn up the heat all the way on here. And now we wait. All I gotta wait is for this to take over the entire restaurant. Oh, this is gonna be good. Now let me go back to him before he gets suspicious. Okay, so I'm making my way back to him right now as soon as possible because I do not want him to think I'm doing anything suspicious even though I actually am. Um, okay, I'm home. Let's go right in here and we're good hey good to see you again um false alarm i didn't have any mail in the mailbox but it's okay anyways how are you doing um about this business stuff just follow me upstairs and we can get started on that right away we just gotta find a nice place to sit down and talk so um business proposal for you It'll bring you tons of customers, but you gotta do what I say, okay? Are you ready for this? It'll be so good for your business. Trust and believe, okay? And I know a lot about business. Okay, yes, I am. Good, so tomorrow is a national freebie day. So all you gotta do for more customers, all day tomorrow, get free food to the homeless people. That's it. And after that, customers will love you so much, they'll come back every day. Oh no! OMG! Dude, there's nothing wrong with feeding the homeless, okay? All you gotta do it is for one day, just be nice. And then your business will be booming. I will lose so much money doing that. You gotta be an idiot. I'll never do that. I'm not an idiot, I'm a businesswoman, okay? I think I know a thing to about business. I mean, look at everything that I have compared to everything that you have. And you don't gotta be mean and call me an idiot, okay? That's very messed up. I'm trying to help your business boom, but now I can make it literally boom. Oh, what's that supposed to mean? You think you're smarter than me or something? No, I just think that I burned down your business while I was gone and there's nothing you can do about it now. So yeah, have fun with your new booming business. You're nowhere near smart enough to be smarter than me. Well. I'm smart enough to trick you into staying here while I destroy your place of business. But if you don't believe me, you can go there and check it out right now. Go ahead, go and see for yourself. Hex no, shut up. Listen, you don't believe me? I can prove it to you. Just come with me and you can see exactly what I did. He thinks I'm such an idiot? Like, bruh, I literally outsmarted you and put your whole place on fire. But fine, you don't gotta believe me. But he'll believe it when he see it. He'll see that his business is done for and he's gonna be so heartbroken. And we're here. Ah! Yeah, um, as you can see, your business isn't doing so well. No! Oh, buddy, don't even try. There's no putting this fire out. It's way too strong. Go ahead and see in here. Well, I mean, this didn't have to happen if you weren't mean to me when I was homeless, but have fun trying to save your burning business, loser. Oh, and happy National Meanie Day. Wait, what? Yep, I'm the same poor homeless girl from before that you treated so mean for National Meanie Day. So, now I'm being mean to you. Have fun with your business, brokey. Ah, that feels good. I'm actually so happy that I did that. He was such a jerk and he really deserved it. So he can have fun with his no longer burning business and I will just live my new billionaire lifestyle and nobody can put me down and be mean to me ever again. Today at Brookhaven, I went from poor to rich to filthy rich. This was the best day of my life. So make sure you watch the entire video to see everything that happened. Okay, so. So I just woke up and my hair is clearly a big hot mess so I am gonna go to the hair salon and see if I can get a hairstyle done that looks better than the one I got now because this is just not me you know maybe I should get a haircut or maybe just comb but the only thing is I can't pay for it I have no money so hopefully this hairdresser that's in here can 
could, you know, give me a great deal. And by a deal, I mean just do my hair for free. I haven't showered in like a long time because my shower doesn't work. So they're gonna have to wash it for me too. I know this is a lot to ask for, but I'm just gonna hope for the best. Oh yeah, okay, so we're here now. Let me go talk to the hairdresser. Uh, hello, hairdresser. Look, I need help. As you can see, my hair is a mess, okay? And I think there's a bird's nest in here. I don't know. It hasn't been washed in so long. You think you can help me out? Ew, get out. Listen, okay, I know it looks bad, but it really shouldn't be that hard to untangle. So just do me a favor, all right? Comb it out at least for free, and I'll go wash it in the community pool. How about that? You look disgusting. How do I look disgusting? Okay, I get that my hair is messy, but there's nothing wrong with the rest of me. Dude, can I please just get my hair combed or washed? One of them, and then I'll just leave, okay? No, no, no. Like, everything about you is disgusting. Everything? What do you mean? How am I disgusting, bruh? I know my hair is messy, but that's really the only problem I have. There's nothing else wrong with me. You just do me this one favor, and I'll never come in here again, okay? I promise. You look like you eat poop for fun. I'm not even joking. Not for fun. Maybe for dinner, but not just for fun, you know? I would eat a burger if I could, but listen, where is your heart and your soul? Will you just help out a stranger for once? Like, that's all I'm asking for. Ew, poor boy. I will never help you. Boy? I'm a girl. Can't you tell? Look at my hair and my eyes. Hello? I'm a lady? I'll do anything, okay? I'll mop the floors after. Just help me out. Bye. Leave. You know what? Fine. <gasps> Wait, you're gonna fix my hair for me? Oh my goodness. You are an angel. Thank you so much. I'll do your hair if you anything, bruh. Just name it. I got you. No worry. Clean my entire store on your hands and knees. Uh, doesn't that seem kind of excessive? Maybe, um, mop? You know, I can go get a mop from my place and use that instead of my hands. So, you must be crawling. Nope. Dude, that's so cruel, but as long as you can fix my hair up for me, I'll be fine. Get on your hands and knees. Wait, can't you do my hair first? I don't want to clean the whole store before getting my hair done. Come on. I said I will promise I'll do it. You need to show some compassion and some love for me. I don't care. Hurry up. Okay, but you promise after I clean the place up, you will help me? Just say yes. It's all I need and I'll be happy. Hurry up or I'm banning you and kicking you out. Oh, fine. Oh my goodness. Let me get to cleaning. I can't believe he would make me clean this whole place on my hands and knees. Did he know how hard that's gonna be? Like, I could be here all day trying to fix this place. There's hair everywhere and nail polish. I don't know what he expects me to do with just my hands. Bro, why are you recording me? Uh-huh. What's so funny? I'm doing what you said. I'm cleaning the floor, bruh. Watch out. You're in the way. I'm trying to get my hair done. You look like a goofy idiot. Bro, what what are you recording me for? It's getting kind of creepy. Are you gonna watch that later? Explain yourself. What's going on? You look like a whole broke boy on the floor. Uh, I told you I didn't have any money. Like, you know this already. Why are you making fun of me for it? I'm cleaning your stupid hair place. I'm done now. Come on, let's do my hair. I'm ready. And guess what? Uh, what? You're gonna do my hair? Like, that's all I've been waiting for. I should scam you. Scam me? No, I just did all that work. Your store looks a million times better all because of me. You said you would do my hair and you kind of have to, bruh. That's only fair. You need to be a man of your word. Fine, get in the seat. Great. Now, um, maybe just comb it out, wash it for me. And I like to keep it black, but maybe you can take off a little bit of inches because I got a really bad split in. Um, after that, that should be all that I need. And maybe a free bottle of nail polish while you're at it. I'm so excited to see what my hair is going to look like after this i just know it's going to be gorgeous come over here follow me um okay where are we going oh nice okay maybe you're gonna make my hair super black i don't know oh my goodness i'm so excited bro wait what is this why is my hair short and pink what did you do with all my hair bro what is this i just wanted my hair combed and washed not pink and bald i did your hair to make you even uglier bro i did everything you asked me to why would you do this to me i literally literally don't even know you like that. Your total is $500. $500? I don't have that kind of money. You said this was free because I cleaned your floors. What did I do all that cleaning for if you weren't giving me this for free? Hello? That doesn't make any sense. 
I don't care, give me the money. Okay, well I don't have the money, so what do you expect me to do here? Besides, even if I had $500, I would not pay you for this ugly bald pink hair. It's not even what I asked for. Where is the money? Bro, why do you have a gun? Calm down. It's not that serious, okay? You don't need to shoot over a stupid piece of cash. I'm not here playing with you. Listen, you knew I didn't have any money before this even happened, so I don't know what your deal is, but I'm not paying you, and that's just that. You can go ahead and cry about it, but I'm broke. Oh, okay. That's how you feel? Bet. Oh my goodness, what are you doing? Stop shooting at me. Stop following me around, bruh. This man is crazy. Get away, bruh. I'm going home. Oh my goodness, he's in my house. Who do you think you are following me all the way here? You don't belong here. This is my place. OMG, I've never seen such a broke house. LOL. You're such a bully, bro. What do you get out of bullying me? You made fun of me. You changed my hair. And you made me clean your dirty floors. What more do you want? Just go away and leave me alone, okay? This is too much. Don't you feel bad? Broke, brokey. Stop, dude. Okay, leave me alone. I get it. You think I'm broke and you like making fun of me. Go away now. You should be satisfied. Everything you did to me. And then you came here and made fun of my house. And that's all I have. Okay, fine. I'm out of here. Bro, stop shooting. Just leave. Go away, man. And don't come back. I can't believe that idiot just did that to me. That's it. I gotta make a change and get my revenge on him. He wanted to make fun of me for being poor and ugly? Well, now it's time to get rich. Okay, wow. I look so much better and all my clothes make me look way richer than before. The next thing I need to change is this dump of a house I'm living in. Look at this place. It is kind of disgusting, but it's okay because I'm getting a house that's way better than this one and he's gonna be so jealous. Okay, my new house looks so cool. This place is literally a mansion, basically. He's gonna regret everything he said about me and my house, but not only will I have a super rich looking house, I'm also gonna have a super rich looking car. He's gonna be so jealous and regret everything he said to me after that. And wow, my car does look super cool. There's no way he could treat me the same way he did the first time. I look way better and my life is way better than his now. Honestly, I think he's gonna be so jealous of me. It's gonna be crazy. Let's get my car super close to the shop so he has no choice but to see it. Hello, sir. I would like to make an appointment with you. As you can see by my really rich car that I can clearly afford it. Hey, babes. Whoa, he's already being way nicer. And that's just because of my looks. I will do your hair, of course. All right, and how much is it gonna cost me? It could be any price. Since I'm rich now, you know, I could pay it easily. Only $30. What? The first time he charged me 500 and he made me bald. Now this is only $30? He is such a scammer. Okay, so it's $30 you say, that's good. I'll let you decide what you wanna do with my hair since you are the stylist. I trust you 100%. But first, let me check your reviews. Hmm, you know what? It says you just had a customer here who was not too happy with what you did. I'm the number one stylist in the world, of course. Yeah, but she's saying that you cut off all her hair and dyed it pink when that's not what she wanted. What do you have to say about that? What's going on with there? They used to work here, but they got fired. So they got mad. And now he's lying? He's trying to say that I worked here? No, he was a bully. That's what it was. Okay, but it also says on here that you made her mop the floors with her hands? Bruh, what do you have to say about that? That sounds so cruel. Did you really do that to her? Let's see if he's gonna tell the truth about this or lie again. It's because I gave her a broom, but she decided to break it in front of the customers. Oh no, he's lying so much right now. He never gave me a broom and there were no other customers. I didn't even work here. He's crazy. Okay, that's understandable. So yeah, she had a lot of problems. Oh, but it also says after you did her hair, you charged her $500 even though you agreed to do it for free? What's up with that? Did you really do that? Okay, if he lies about this too, that proves that he's just a bad person. Oh, that's my usual price 
price of $500, but you get a discount. Wait, a discount? Why? What did I do? How do I get $30, but everybody else pays $500? I'm confused. Because today is positivity day, so I'm really a nice guy. Oh, no, you're not. That is such a lie. You're not a nice guy. Can't believe he's gonna lie to my face like this. So if you're really a nice guy, would you do my hair for free instead of $30? I'm just wondering, that's all. I will do it for $5. Oh, that's so much better, amazing. Okay, come do my hair for $5. What he doesn't know is I'm gonna make him give me one of the best hairstyles and then I'm not gonna pay him at all. Then that should really make him mad. Okay, so what exactly are you gonna do? As a matter of fact, surprise me, but make sure it's really, really good. I have somewhere important to go after this. This hairstyle will be amazing, just trust me. Oh yeah, I know it will. You're done. Oh my goodness, I bet it looks so good. Wow, this is really, really nice, but I just have one more thing. I don't really like the color of my hair, because black is just too boring for me, so you think you could change it to a really nice color? Still for $5 though, right? Okay, that's fine, of course, but you do know hair dye is bad for your hair? Oh, trust me, I have really, really strong hair, so it's not gonna matter. I just want my hair dyed, please, and thank you. Okay, that's fine. Great, I am so excited. Hopefully you pick a really good color for me. I'm trusting you. Wow, oh my goodness, this is amazing. This blonde hair is absolutely beautiful. You're so good at doing hair, man. I see why you opened up a salon. You're probably the best hairstylist in Brookhaven. Of course, I always have your back. Oh, that's so nice of you. But unfortunately, even though you did such a good job, I won't be paying you today. I hope that's not gonna be a problem. Are you okay with that? Um, what? Yeah, I'm not gonna pay you. Like, you're good and all, but I lied about having $5. I definitely didn't have 30 either, so I can't pay you for your job today. But I appreciate you doing such a wonderful job on me. What the heck? No, no, no. You're gonna have to give me some type of money. Listen, man, I got a nice sports car and a big mansion to pay for. I don't have $5 for you. And if you need $5 that bad, don't you think that makes you kind of broke? Okay, how about this? Since you don't want to pay me, I'll take your prized possession. Huh? Wait, what are you doing? Get out of my car! Dude, that's mine! Get out of there right now! Give me my car back! Oh my goodness, he's stealing my car from me! What am I gonna do? Dude, get back here! <gasps> you just crashed my car? Oh no, be careful with that! Dude, what are you doing? Why are you at my house? Excuse you, what is your problem? Wait a minute, this is your house? Uh, yeah, it's mine. Can't you see it's pink like my car? And you couldn't just give me five dollars? Uh, nope, I'm still not going to either. Listen, okay, I may be rich, but I don't give my money to poor people like you. Oh, heck no. Oh, well, what are you gonna do about it? You can't get the $5 and there's nothing you can do about it. You're gonna have to pay me. I don't care what you're thinking. Uh, well, I'm thinking that you're not getting money out of me. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking you're tripping out of your mind. Oh, well, too bad, I'm going inside. Bye, bozo, you're not getting money out of me. Now that, oh wait, what are you doing in my house, bro? Go away, you're not welcome here. Nice couch you have here. Uh, okay, and what about it? You need to leave, okay? You're not supposed to be in my house. I think this couch will go perfect in my house. Uh, yeah, ha ha ha. You're not getting this couch out of here. This is mine and mine's only. Now you can leave or I will make you regret it. This is my couch. Since you're so broke, I'm not the one who's broke here. It's you. You are sitting here throwing a temper tantrum over $5. I'll take everything you have here. What? No, you're not. Go away. I'll be sure to get rid of this place one way or another. What are you talking about? What do you mean by that? I don't get it. You can't do anything about it and you're not getting your money back. So that sucks for you, but you gotta go. Where is your garage? Oh, you're gonna leave to the garage? Great, because I don't want nobody to see you. It's right down here and you make a turn. All right, the garage is opening. Goodbye, loser. Right this way is all you gotta do. No, open the garage back. This dude just locked me out of my house. No. Hey, 
My keys are in there. Open up. Hey, what is he going to do to my house, bro? He can't take everything out if the doors are locked. I don't know what he's doing, but it's not going to work. He lost. I won. What the heck? What are you? You're pouring gasoline on my house? Stop it, you maniac, okay? Just stop what you're doing. I'll give you the $5. Oh, my goodness. He's really pouring gasoline all over the place. You better not burn my house down, or I will make you regret it. Okay, fine. Great, so you're going to leave and not burn my house down? I'll blow it up. What? You better not. What the? What is that? Oh, no! My house in there! It's burning down! Wait a minute. Did that bozo lock himself in my burning house? Fine. He's such an idiot for that. Well, since he destroyed my very, very rich mansion, looks like I have no choice but to get an even richer one and become filthy rich. Okay, I'm just now arriving at my brand new estate, and this is even better than the house I had before. Look how massive it is, and it's such a pretty color. Well, now that that idiot burned himself down in my old house, I get to finally live in peace without any random bullies trying to bother me. But to match my new house, I need a new look. From beautiful to gorgeous. Ah, oh, this is so much better. I have a big, rich house and a brand new look that matches it perfectly. There's just one thing not right with my brand new look, and it's really bothering me. It's my hair. I had blonde before already by that dumb hairdresser. So I'm going to see who's working there now and see if they can give me a better hair color than the one he gave me. There we go. This color is so much better. Now all I need is for the new hairdresser in town to Fix me right up and my life will be complete. Hello, sir. What? What the? Huh. He kind of looks just like the other hairstylist, but, you know, his face is different. My hair has been recently dyed blonde by some guy that I hate, and I really can't stand it. So, can you just change it to literally anything that'll look good on me, please? I'm so glad there's a new hairdresser taking over for the old one, and I hope you're way better than he was. He was a jerk. And also, any price is fine. I'll definitely pay you. Oh, of course, baby girl. What the? Baby girl? Ew. I am here and ready to fix you. Okay, great. Well, as long as you're ready, I'm ready. I know exactly where to go. Just make sure whatever color you pick, it looks good on me, okay? I really, really need this right now. I've had a long day. So promise that you got this. I know you're new here, so I don't know if you're good or not. What do you do for a living? Your car is looking good. And of course I'm good. I'm the best in the city. Uh... You know, I just do normal stuff for a living and I just happen to get rich, you know, that's all. But we're not here to talk about how I got my money. If you want yours, you better dye my hair good. Okay, get in the chair. Um, dude, what is this? This blue does not look good on me at all, bro. Why did you do this? It's hideous and you're ruining my hair, you know. Fix it now. Well, I tried my hardest. Okay, and your hardest wasn't good enough. Fix my hair. I don't want it to be blue. I can't fix it. You must keep it for 30 days. I don't want to walk around with blue hair for 30 days. That's not what I asked for. I wanted something that looked good. You have to do it, and I'm not leaving until you fix it. Well, well, well. I don't care. Bro, why would you do this? You're new here. I thought you said you were good. You're gonna pay me. You look like a billionaire. So what if I am? If you're bad at doing hair, I'm not paying for this until you fix it. So if you want Want your money do your job you're gonna pay me regardless oh yeah if you're not gonna fix it then I'm out of here so you better make a good decision buddy pay me now okay fix my hair now this is your last chance or I'm out what the whoa whoa why'd you pull out a gun pay me Listen, man, if you wanted your payment, you would have done my hair right. You're just as bad as the other stylist. So therefore, I'm not scared of your little gun. I'm not paying. Oh, no, he's shooting. I'm out of here. Wait, my car. Oh, crap, my car is gone. Somebody stole it from me. You idiot. You're the idiot here. You're the one not getting paid. You aren't going nowhere. What did you do to my car? Well, I had one of my friends pick it up. Oh, you're terrible. Why would you do that? 
Call them right now and tell them to give me my car back. That's not cool. Because I knew you were scamming. How? How was I scamming? I was gonna pay you. Well, ha ha. What is so funny? I don't understand. Explain yourself. I'm gonna love your car. Because it's mine now unless you pay me. Well, I'm not paying you and you're not taking my car either. So go ahead and give it back. You fake billionaire, you're a phony. I'm not a phony, you are. You're a bad hairstylist. See you, little bro. Wait, is this mine? How did you get my car? Give that back now. I'm not playing with you. He really just took my car. No, my life is over. Today, Brooke Haven, I went from poor to rich to billionaire. Today has been the most stressful day of my life, man, okay? I think I'm just gonna go ahead and go inside and find somewhere to be. I mean, this is an airport. People go to the airport all the time. I'll just say that I'm going somewhere and I'll get in. Hello, sir. I am looking for, um, you know, a plane to go on. Is that okay? Ew. Get out of here. What? Why do I gotta get out of here? What did I do to you, man? Look, Listen, okay, I'm a paying customer. I have somewhere to go. As you can see, it is raining outside, so, you know, I gotta get to my plane, like, ASAP, hello? Do not be a little bully. Something tells me you couldn't afford to get in any of these planes, huh? What about me makes you think I can't afford to get on a plane? If you must know, I happen to have tons of money, okay? I'm getting on this plane whether you like it or not. So, thanks, but no thanks. I don't need your help. Oh crap, the alarm just went off on this thing. Ah, I'm getting on this plane, bro. I don't care what you say, okay? I have to get out of that nasty, nasty weather. Look at this place. It's so nice. It has a TV and some bathrooms. Oh, I haven't used the bathroom in a long time, okay? Let me go ahead and, uh, you know, get me a quick bathroom break. Oh, yeah, that's the spot right there. This is so good. When does this plane take off, man? I need to, what the, oh. Oh, crap, that man scared me. But you know, nobody else knows that I'm not supposed to be here. I'm just gonna chill and you know, relax. Ah, this is nice. Now all I gotta do is wait for the plane to take off and it'll just take me wherever everybody else is going. Oh my goodness, what is that noise for? What the heck? Yo, this is, oh crap, he found me. Ah, okay, I'm sorry, listen, listen, don't arrest me, okay? Oh man, I just set off the alarm in the whole entire airport. Relax, okay, it was an accident, I didn't mean to. Stay off of my aircraft or else I'm gonna get really mad. Listen, okay, I don't care about you being mad. It was terrible weather outside and you didn't have the decency to help a homeless person get shelter? Are you serious? That's the rudest thing that anybody could ever do. So, you know what? I get to stay in this airport. I don't care. You almost broke down my plane. No way you did that, you stupid bum. Hey, uh, don't call me that, okay? How about I just stay right here for the night on this bench? This lovely, lovely bench. Can I stay right here? Huh. Should I even allow you to be in this building? Uh, why not? I didn't do anything to you. Of course you should allow me to be in this building. I need help. I'll just sit on this bench all the night, okay? And just mind my business. I won't mess with the plane or anybody else. I just want to sleep in here and maybe eat some free airport food. You're so lucky I'm super generous. Wow, wait, so is that a yes? Are you gonna let me stay here? Oh my goodness, okay. So if I can stay here and get some free airport food, that'd be great. I'll take maybe some sandwiches if you have that or some french fries and a lemonade you know i am starving because it's hard to eat food while you're homeless huh what why are you so confused there's literally nothing to be confused about like i said i'll have a sandwich french fries and a lemonade hello you just said you'd help me no 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 you just said yes i don't understand what your problem is dude let me stay in the airport please you don't deserve to be in here but why not what did i do i'm I'm struggling. Times are hard. I need help. You have to help me. Okay, I won't take a lemonade. Just a sandwich and some fries. And I'll sleep on this bench. And I won't bother anybody else after that, okay? Can we at least make that deal? Hmm. Oh, man. I hope that's a good hmm. And you're gonna say yes to me. Please, okay? It's cold and dark outside. How about this? Oh, man. It looks like we're making a deal. This might be my moment. You get out of my building you poor rat what that is so messed up okay you know what i'm not
not leaving there. I demand to stay on this bench for the night, and there's nothing you're gonna be able to do about it. So, ha ha, I'm staying. You really think that this is a game? No, it's not a game at all, and that's why I'm doing it, okay? This is my life. I am so serious. I'm not going anywhere, buddy. As a matter of fact, I think I'll live in this airport for the rest of my life, and there's nothing you can do about it, and I would love to see you try. I might even get back on the plane. Are you sure? Uh, yeah, I'm sure. If you were to do something about this, you would have done it already. Clearly, you are chicken. Oh, yeah, look at me. I'm all over your floor. This is so good. I'm gonna make sure that you pay. All right, I'm so scared. What are you gonna do? I don't exactly think you're a tough guy. So what you gonna do to me, huh? What the? You wanna get poked? What is that, a needle? No, I don't wanna get poked. Get away from me. Oh, my goodness. Okay, you see, I'm leaving. I'm going back home. Oh, my goodness. He's trying to poke me. Okay, I'm... Finally home, safe and sound. I mean, at least it's not raining anymore, so you know, I'm fine, but oh well, I got away from that creepy guy. What the? Wait, he's outside? What the heck is going on? What, what do you mean, bro? I left your airport and I went back home. This is literally my house. Duh. What does it look like? I told you I was homeless. Now you can go away and put away your stupid needle, okay? I'm not in your airport, so you can't bully me. This house is disgusting. What? No, it's not, okay? This is like the best I can do. Look, it's roomy. You know, I can do some circles in there. I got my, my change jar for when I'm begging for money, and I got a nice fire to keep me warm at night. Your son is begging for help? Ha ha. Yo, that's not funny, okay? You can't just go around making fun of poor people. That's not nice. Now, if all you're gonna do is make fun of me, can you just go back into your stupid airport and leave me alone? I don't have to listen to a word you say. Ha ha. Wait, why don't you have to listen to me this is my stuff so if i tell you to get away from my stuff you have to i don't care how rich you think you are or if you think you're better than me okay you gotta go leave me and my garbage house alone okay fine i'll do that all right okay great goodbye big ugly dude why do you still have that needle put that away already oh look at this dude he touched my grill and he's on fire that's what you get hot 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 uh -huh, man you gotta know better than that okay be more careful well i finally got my place back to myself but you know what i need to change my life around i need to become rich i just got made fun of and kicked out of an airport for being broke well not anymore say goodbye to this house and say goodbye to this brokey it's time to become rich first things first bro i need a whole new house okay that tent and garbage bag was so lame so i'm gonna go claim some land right up here and become a uh, rich person because rich people have nice big houses on hills with open land and that's gonna be me and then let's see him try to deny me the airport now let's see him try to call me poor after this okay so i finally got my nice brand new big house it looks so good it is literally amazing the best house that i've probably ever lived in and i also got this brand new car it's so fancy now that is what i call rich okay big house big car now i gotta change my look around because okay i can't look like this living in a house like mine so let's go ahead and lock my doors and go upstairs into my brand new bedroom Ooh, wow and then we're going to change it's time to become beautiful okay wow i have this very very nice outfit on and i even combed my hair so i think i look way way better than i did before and i finally look like i live in this awesome house and it looks like i drive this awesome car out here so now it's time to go rub it in that stupid flood attendant's face that i am rich and beautiful and they're gonna be so jealous and so mad they can't be like me okay let's go back to this dumb bully's job and see what they got going on. I'm so excited to make them cry. Okay, it's time. Hey, hello, I'm here to catch my flight to Hawaii. Um, It's very, very expensive, okay? And I ordered a private jet. So I need to get there ASAP, no time to waste. Okay, ma'am. Yes, what's going on? Can I get my private jet to Hawaii or what? As you can see, I'm a very wealthy businesswoman and I need to go now, okay? I don't got time for your foolishness. Give me my plane or I'll get you fired. Funny enough, we are not flying private jets out.
out right now. Uh, so I'm confused. What do you mean you're not flying private jets out right now? You're gonna fly mines out right now? Do you know how rich and important I am? Don't make me have to prove it to you how important I am. Now go and get my jet or I'll go back there myself and get it. And we both don't want that, now do we? I will get you fired from this job and you will be broke for the rest of your life. Now that I said all that, you should know what to do. Well, it's kind of weird. Oh great, what's weird about it, man? What's going on? How weird is it to just go get a jet and get a pilot to fly it? That you would come to the airport with no bags. I don't need bags, okay? I literally have a house in Hawaii that has all my clothes and stuff. So I don't know why you're trying to question me. Like I didn't just say to go get my jet or I will get you fired. Focus on that, okay? Nothing else. So worried about me and my missing bags that you are gonna be missing a paycheck soon if you don't hurry up. Okay, ma'am, my apologies. Go have fun on the flight. Ma'am, go check her in. That's right, that's exactly what I thought. Ain't nobody telling me I can't get on my own private jet. This is gonna be so nice! I'm finally getting the treatment that I deserved from the start when I was broke. This is just what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, look at this. What they got back here? This is my plane. I can go anywhere I want. Whoa, okay, so we got some snacks going on back here. Oh yeah, and I got my couches and my big old TVs. Um, so where do I think I'm gonna sit? I'm gonna sit uh right here. And I'll be able to watch TV all the way from my spot. Ah, that's nice. Okay, finally the rich treatment I've been needing all day long. Um, hello, uh, flight servants? Go get me some food. What is taking you so long? Hello, can you idiots hear me? Go fetch her some food. That's right, get straight to work. That's what I'm talking about. This is the life. Excuse me, sir. I would like for you to change the channel for me, so uh, go do it now. Oh, and my snacks are here already. That's perfect, will do. Okay, just, I'll take this and this and this. Yeah, I'll just take all of it for now. Oh uh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I got my snacks and hello? You haven't changed the channel on the TV yet. I need you to get to it now. Otherwise, I will have you kicked off this plane on the air. Okay, shut up, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, no, you didn't. You just told me to shut up. I will make you pay for that. You better know how to treat me. I'm way richer than you. You know what? Since you want to tell me to shut up, I got a surprise for you. This is your surprise. You will die for disrespecting me. What? Exactly, you hear me. You are going to die. Now, you can either say you're sorry for being mean to me, or you know what's going to have to happen. I will make you jump off the plane in the air. So what's it going to be? Well, I guess that I'll just... Ah! He's shooting at me! Oh my goodness! Somebody help me! Ah! He shot me till I jumped off the plane! He still didn't treat me any nicer, man! I became rich in everything! You know what? That's it. I know exactly what I gotta do to make him treat me with the utmost respect. Being poor wasn't enough. Being rich wasn't enough. I need to become a billionaire. Okay, so obviously me just becoming rich wasn't enough. And now that I've decided to become a billionaire, it's time for me to get my billionaire house and my billionaire car. And I choose this one right here. Look at this place, it's so cool. And look at my car to match the house, okay. That looks amazing together. This is perfect for a rich person. But I don't have the looks. So now it's time to become billionaire beautiful. So let's change right now. Oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about. I look like a completely different person, okay? I look so much richer and so much more beautiful. I think this is exactly how a billionaire would look. So now, let's go finally get the respect I deserve. We're going to go there in my super cool, super nice car and I think he's going to ball his eyes out when he sees how much better my life is than his. He's gonna be so sad that he's broke. It's gonna be hilarious. And this time, I'm not just gonna ask for a simple private jet. Oh no, now we get fancy. 
Let's go in here and get what I deserve. Um, hello, sir. I'm coming to make a request to you and your airport services. I need a helicopter to come to my house, pick me up, and take me to the lake. OMG, hot mommy, you look so good. I've never seen a girl look as good as you. Hey, yo, this dude is weird. First, he went from bullying me to flirting with me. This is crazy. Oh, how nice of you. That's great and all, but it would be super nice if you could help me out. So could you just make sure I get that helicopter, please? And yeah, bring it to the biggest house in the city. That one will be my house. And I need you to drive me in the helicopter to the lake, please. To my expensive yacht. I really don't feel like driving. Well, I don't offer those type of deals. See, now here he goes again, not doing what I tell him to do. <sighs> Well, I can fix that. Listen, okay? I know the airport doesn't offer those kind of services, but I'm not asking for the airport to do this. I'm asking you to do this, sir, because you're so big and strong and handsome. I really thought you could help me. Are you saying you can't help me? No, 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 no. I mean, for the right price, I can help you out. Aha, that's what I thought. Oh, that's so nice of you. Thank you so, so, so much. Anyways, the price doesn't it matter so whatever it costs I'll do it what about 100 million dollars well I'm a billionaire you see so it doesn't even matter just go to my house with the helicopter and you'll receive your payment OMG all that money well you know it's if it's what you wanted and what you needed it's here but I need you to come to my house with the helicopter first before you get all the money okay we'll make sure to be there Mommy. Ew, why does this dude keep calling me mommy, bruh? She really left all this here for us. What? Okay, bro. Like, what is he doing? He needs to get this helicopter. He's sitting here having a secret conversation. He needs to be doing his job. We're about to get rich off of her. Wait, is this dude planning to use me? Now that is ridiculous. We are billionaires. It feels so amazing. How is he a billionaire if it was only a hundred million dollars? Okay, that doesn't make any sense. I think this guy is just bad at numbers. Well, let's go give her our trashiest helicopter. <gasps> oh, he thinks he's gonna scam me? Well, fine. I'll see about that. That is so crazy that he thinks that he can do that. He's gonna give me a trash helicopter after I gave him all that money? That just goes to show he still doesn't respect me. Well, now I guess I'll just sit here and wait for them to try to bring me a trash helicopter, and I'm gonna make them go all the way back for a new one. Since they wanna sit here and try to be rude and scam me out of my money, and on top of that, I'm gonna make this guy fall in love with me so I can break his heart. I'm going to the swimming pool. So when he shows up, I'll be in my bikini. Okay, I'm now in my bikini waiting for my helicopter and this guy is literally gonna fall in love with me. So I'll just wait here in my pool. Oh, I hear it. The helicopter's here. Oh no, nah, look at it. They really gave me the trashiest one they could find. Okay, yeah, go ahead. I'm gonna let them go all the way over there to park it on the roof and make them take it back. Cause that's unacceptable. Now let me go to them and check this thing out. OMG, he's leaving with it. Wait, that's mine. Put the helicopter back. Oh my goodness, I paid too much money for this. Now, can somebody explain to me why is the helicopter so ugly? Huh? You do not know I paid a hundred million dollars for it. I need the best richest looking helicopter that you could find. Don't be mad that we gave you the ugliest helicopter. It's the best we had for you, buddy. Wow, okay. So you think this is a joke. All right, all right. You got two options. Get me a new helicopter that looks good or you will pay. Which one do you want? Go ahead and decide. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. I just mean I'll invite you into my house and we'll sit down and have a nice talk, you know? and we'll see how we can fix this. We ain't paying for nothing. If anything, you're paying us. Oh, okay, okay. So if I pay you, will you go get me a new one? Because if that's all it takes, I'll just give you more money. If you pay me, I'll let you massage my toes. Okay, fine. Let's go to my house. I'll pay you, all right. You want more money? That's all you freaks care about? Well, then let's go get it. Everybody 
everybody. Come on in. Yep, we're having a good time. Okie dokie. So, I'm gonna have you guys go ahead and chill on the couch. I'll turn some TV on for you guys. Uh, yeah. Relax right over here. And I will go and get you, uh, your money. Thanks, Mommy. I like that bikini. Oh, I bet you do. Yeah, I'm gonna just go ahead and get your money. No worries. I'll be right back. Okay, so little do they know, I'm actually going to take the helicopter and lock them in this house. But not just lock them in this mansion with all this stuff. Oh, no. I'm gonna make sure this place burns. I'm gonna pour gasoline all over the place and set it on fire. Okay, I'm just gonna make sure nobody notices what I'm doing. I'm gonna pour the gasoline over here and sneak behind them and pour some. Oh yeah, make sure I get it in every room. And now that it's in every room, it's time to light this place on fire. In three, two, one! Oh yeah. Okay, the house is burning down. I need to get on the roof and go get my helicopter ASAP. Wait, what the heck? I don't see the helicopter anywhere. What did those two idiots do with it? My house is burning down. You know what? Forget this, okay? I'm getting out of here. They can burn in here by themselves. That's their problem now, not mine. I'm out of here. Hopefully burning in that house will teach them to be nicer to people.